Hi again, and uh, thank you uh, to be back uh, on this uh, low-cost uh, sensors um, for uh, plant phenotyping. Uh, we are now uh, focusing on an example of how to use hyperspectral imaging to design low-cost uh, uh, imaging systems. So uh, this is a rather mathematical approach on this uh, example. So let me try to make it simple to, uh, to you and to go through uh, uh, some of these uh, equations which are uh, visible on the screen here. So um, the approach, the, the problem is uh, the following. You have a continuous spectrum uh, uh, at the input, and your problem would be uh, to avoid using a camera that produces this uh, huge uh, amount of uh, data. So uh, this is information that would be on one single pixel of uh, an hyperspectral imaging. And what you would like to do is to select only the best wavelength, uh, wavelength for a given uh, application. So uh, an approach that we uh, design here at, uh, at Angers is, uh, is the following. We model this as a so-called uh, Shannon information uh, theory uh, channel, where we consider that the input of the channel is a, a, a X, a spectrum, which has wavelength between a minimum uh, wavelength and a maximum wavelength. And the output is the amplitude on, uh, of the values uh, as integrated on each uh, spectral band that you will have. So if you want to have a gray level image, you will have only one output uh, at the end. If you have a RGB image, you will have three output and so on. So how, uh, what can be done on this is to model how uh, the selectivity of this uh, filter will uh, affect the, uh, will impact the, uh, the output uh, uh, Y and uh, to model uh, how uh, the, the photons are uh, uh, maybe lost in the, in the machine, and in the end, to maximum uh, an informational uh, criterion, which can be uh, selected as uh, mutual information between the input and the output. And the idea is to select the filter so that the similarity between the input and the output is at its maximum. So uh, to make it more visible to you, let's uh, look at uh, some application of uh, this mathematical uh, approach. Here are three uh, examples. Uh, here, uh, we have the problem on the first uh, line. We have the problem where we want to, to uh, have a look at the apple scab. This is a plant disease that uh, uh, is impacting the uh, apple leaves. Uh, you can see on this RGB, RGB image that you have almost no contrast on these leaves. And if you take a single gray level image converted from this RGB, there's also no, almost no contrast. While with our approach, given uh, here, you find a very high uh, contrast where all the presence of the disease is visible as shown on this ground roof, which is a manually annotated uh, reference by a biological expert. The interesting part here is that uh, we did this by selecting only one wavelength, one LED uh, light, while the usual standard approach in plant imaging would be to use an hyperspectral image and to make a combination given by the coefficient shown in green and uh, blue uh, of all these uh, images acquired by uh, the hyperspectral imaging system. And by this, you obtain this kind of images. That's two different uh, methods. One is partial least square, PLS, and the second is cumulative discriminant analysis, CDA. And you can see that with such approaches that require why the hyperspectral imaging, the contrasts are almost the same. So with only one LED, we got the same contrast as the usual approach which you requires to have a full spectrum acquisition and then a combination of all of these. Often it's a giga octet of uh, data. So here we have uh, some, only some kilo octets of uh, data and only use a LED uh, lighting system with Android Euro camera. So very valuable uh, approach to reduce the dimensionality of the data and reduce the price of the imaging system. The two other lines are exactly the same kind of experiments, but uh, here on this uh, line, this is um, uh, hard uh, and soft wheat that is hardly uh, differentiable from the eye and that you can easily detect when you select the good uh, wavelength. And here, another example where the, uh, the task is to uh, discriminate between the radical and the hypocotyl in uh, uh, growing seedlings. And again, very difficult to do by the eye and much easier to do uh, with our approach, uh, which is uh, really low cost. 
So thanks for following this, uh, this example, and uh, see you in the next uh, video.